morning guys welcome to today's morning market analysis if you are just watching this channel forex trading strategies i trade the boom and crash majorly and every morning or every day i do a video analyzing the market for you guys so you know what the market sentiment is and you know the profitable or pro probable uh trading situation or setup for the day Okay, so that being said, I'm going to analyze four markets for us. Four markets. The first one, okay, they're just going to be boom, okay, and crash. Boom and crash. Those are the things I'm going to analyze. So I'm going to analyze both the boom 300 and 500. Why the crash? I'm going to analyze also the crash 300 and 500 okay so let's take along with me now if you don't have a boom and crash trading account it is provided by deriv okay the deriv broker so try as much as possible to create your account using the link in the description below okay so that being said this is crash 500 so let's start from crash 500 and let's see what the market is saying so i'm viewing this in one hour time frame okay one hour time frame because that is written here around here okay one hour time frame uh so let's zoom in a bit okay let's zoom in a bit and let's see what the market is saying so for my price action the market is showing an uptrend okay so there was there is a long downtrend from this up to here okay that it form a major support level right here they start going up okay start going up, forming a trend line okay you can see it's from the trend line it's creating higher highs okay higher highs then there's a retracement here there is a pullback okay a pullback here then the market has started going up so this is a good street this is a good trade for me so if i'm going to enter this market now i'm going to set my take profit around this region okay so i'm going to put a line right there and take the trade i'm going to put a line right there and take the trade of course it's my good day i have a little retracement then it's going to keep on uptrend so let's keep an eye on crash 500 because we might be able to make some money from it okay so i'm going to put a line here to know my take profit so my take profit 60 71.2926071 so i'm going to go ahead to place the order right away okay i'll place the order right away okay so i'll just come to this place then i set my lot size quite uh, simple set your lot size okay then you're going to set your take profit and stop loss so my take profit is 60 i think i called it let me check again to be should be sure about this okay my take profit is 60 71 292 okay 60 71 292 so i'm going to impute that here 60 71.292 okay then i'm going to rotate this a bit okay so i'll click on buy so i've placed the order for this this is a real account okay that is my take profit so i'm going to see how the order turns out okay i'm going to post it in the telegram group of course i have a telegram group if you do not know about it try as much as possible to join my telegram group okay try as much as possible to join my telegram group so you can participate in our trade signals so that's the analysis for crash 500 for a little recap the market is going up okay so this is the last resistance okay this is the last support level it came here no this is the last resistance level where the market was up it's pullbacks then form uh, a resistance level here pulls back for another resistance level now the market is going up to that resistance level okay so it might reach the resistance level and turn it to a support level okay the resistance can turn to support level if not then the market is going to respect it and come down okay that's why i'm putting my take profit at this tip here okay so it doesn't get to the or uh, to to the tip of the of the week where the market can retrace easily now of course it's not a must you have to stay in the market till that time okay if you're getting if if you are in the trade and you've gotten uh, enough profit you can stay away from it okay always take profit always take profit so let's see the bigger picture of things and let's view this in four hour time frame to get 
the trend so you can see in forward time frame the market has been ranging okay there is a trend right here okay so i can see say this is within the trend okay it's forming a kind of trend line and here these are higher highs okay higher highs before the market have a massive pull down so let's see what the market is going to do around this area okay let's see what it's going to do so that's it about the crash 500 now let's check another instrument okay let's check another instrument let's go to boom 500 boom 500 okay so boom 500 has been on an uptrend so you can see but we buy a boom on the low uh higher lows higher lows and it's forming a kind of conference there okay it retains right there so this is a serious uptrend are we going to enter this let's go into it in the one hour time frame and let's see if we can get scalping or uh, scalping opportunities so i click on here and i go to the one hour time frame and let's see what we have okay so on the one hour time frame the market is trying to form a kind of trend right here okay let's see the trend so there is a level right here okay a level that this got to okay resistance level is got here and it's bringing the market down so this is a resistance level right here so it had a retracement then breaks the resistance level okay that it came down to retest it right here this is first retest also it came down to have a second retest right here and this is a third retest so you can see we have major level right here for the market to break is this market going to break this major level now this is three retest now we are looking for a breakout okay now be very very uh, vigilant so as not to get fake out this market can do that a lot there's a lot of fake out in this boom and crash so you must be very very vigilant first thing you need to do is check your moving average because the moving average is approaching uh the buy level already okay so this market might go up if it starts going up then that's an uptrend but if it break, if it breaks it then that is a breakout then you can enter for a long downtrend okay so there's a probable trading uh, opportunities in this boom 500 okay so we should be vigilant throughout today okay so uh stepping away from that let's go to our crash 300 okay let's go to our boom and crash 300 let's see which one we see first okay crash 300 awesome so we trade the crash on uptrend okay that's what basically how you trade the crash on uptrend so ever since this, this crash is coming down on downtrend it's not a good time to trade then it starts going up again okay so it's having a kind of retest around this area so you can see it went up came down and test here then it went up again came down and test here okay so you must not jump into this market okay you can you know it's very volatile but let's view it in four hour time frame and let's see the bigger picture of things probably there's an opportunity for us okay in the four hour time frame it still remains an option probably this is just a retest or a pullback because if you check on here this is there are so many conference level around here okay so the market pulls back it went up pulls back into this conference level okay so before you can enter this market for an uptrend there it has to break this okay it has to break this once it breaks this level right here okay then you can enter the market for the next bullish candle for an uptrend okay else then this market is going to come down here to retest this level right here okay this support level right here and then it start going up if start going up you can enter for an uptrend to this level okay if not then the market is going to go down and it's not advisable you stay in such a market okay it's not advisable you stay in such a market and once again if you haven't created your boom and crash account do that right away the link is in the description and also if you haven't joined our telegram channel then you are missing out you should do that right away let's go to boom 300 okay let's go to boom 300 okay this is uh boom 300 this is crash 300 right so let's go to boom 300 please let's go to boom 300 boom 300 okay so this is looking awesome as well but this is a serious downtrend before we have an uptrend then it reaches a resistance level uh <clears throat> a resistance level right there okay forming a double top and the market has been coming down okay now it's having a little pullbacks now the pullbacks has got into this level right here this conference level and it starts coming down so this is a probable trading conditions okay so you can enter the market right here and probably say uh set your take profit around this region okay around this region but for a better confirmation you can go in on the one hour time frame okay because this is four hours and that might that might not give us uh, the uh, the smaller picture go in on the one hour time frame and you see what the market is saying so in the one hour time frame the market came here 
and find uh, a support so it went up a bit that's a retracement then it broke the support and came here went up a bit to that support level so it turned it to uh, so it turned it to a resistance level right now okay so and the market went down pulling it into that region and the market is going down again so if i were you what am i going to do i'll wait for this candle to form okay this one candle that is forming once it's it completely forms then i can enter for a downtrend and put my take profit around this region okay enter with a minimal lot size okay that is what you are going to do for this uh boom 300 right now thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video and bye for now